Howdy, Tommy from Tanknitions here. This is an episode of Tanknitions Tips, where my buddy Sam is going to show you how to relocate anemones that are deep within your rock work. And uh, make sure you stay to the end of the video because there's a really awesome nature clip and he's in it as well. So uh, without further ado, Sam, show us how it's done. All right, done. so as Tommy explained before, we're gonna go over an anemone cannon for you guys. So closer, closer, too close, too close. All right. As you can see here, we have a rose bubble tip anemone coming out of a pipe. Initially, he was up on the rock. To get him off the rock, some people use screwdrivers, they'll use fingernails, they'll use screws, they'll use anything to get him off. I've come up with a different way. So this is the anemone cannon. As you can see, it consists of a pipe and a sponge, and the sponge is rubber banded to the rock the anemone was initially on. Anemones need light. As they crawl through the pipe towards the light source, they let go of the rock. Meaning, after, if you've done it right, they're entirely in the pipe and you can pluck them off the rock, pipe and all. Amazing. Now, how do you get it out? Well, I'm gonna bring them over to the basket we're gonna put them in. Let's put them in here. I'm gonna see if I can just blow them out like a blow dart. No, that didn't really work that well. So instead, I'm going to go ahead and jab him out with a pipe. Or a stick, or a pencil, or a pen. Very gently. We don't want to hurt this guy. We would just want to push him out. And if he's far enough in the pipe, I can actually just push him with my finger. Oh, man, he really doesn't want to let go. There we go. Now I got you. So, Sam, can you describe what you're doing to make sure that you don't damage the foot of the anemone? Well, this guy is about ready to go, so get a good look at what I'm going to do. I'm being very, very gentle, and I'm slowly boop, popping them out. If you take your time and you're very gentle with it, you have no risk of harming the anemone. What I'm trying to do when I'm getting him out is I'm trying to hook underneath his foot and just barely, barely peel him off. It's almost like a leech. If you ever had a leech pulled off, it's just like that. So this guy is nice and pulled off. I'm gonna go ahead and transfer him into an anemone basket. I'm gonna choose, let's do this one. And beautiful. We'll check on him again in a few days and hopefully he's happy with this new spot. So you might wanna know how to make an anemone cannon. I'm gonna show you how. I like to use Schedule 80 pipe. This is Schedule 40. You can see the difference. Schedule 40, I'm sorry, Schedule 80 is a little bit thicker than Schedule 40. I like the thinner stuff because the way I used it to cut into the sponge is better because it's thinner. So you get a hard surface, you get a sponge. I prefer non-reactive melanine sponges. You can use uh, other non-reactive sponges that you find. Make sure they don't have any chemicals in them. Press the pipe down onto the hard surface through the sponge. Hold the sponge with your non-dominant hand and then with your dominant hand twist the pipe back and forth. It may take a few seconds and it may make some awful noises, but if you do it right, should be able to work the sponge through the pipe and make a beautiful hold. Now this is what it's supposed to look like. As you notice, I messed this one up, but that's okay. You might not get it right the first try. After you get your sponge with the hole, throw that out, put the pipe in the hole, and then you've got your beautiful, perfect little anemone can. The length of the pipe can be longer, it can be shorter. You can even put an elbow or an other pipe fitting on the end. You just want a little bit of light. If you've got full light coming down into the middle of this pipe, the anemone is still gonna be happy. He's still gonna receive all the light he wants. He's not gonna move. The point of this is to angle it just right so he has a little bit of light coming through the mouth of the pipe. He will slowly crawl out towards the entrance and then attach to the inside of the pipe and then you can pull it off. Simple as that. Awesome, Sam. All right, and so now I'm gonna show you on one of the anemones that are in our prop tubs, uh, how to remove the foot without damaging the animal. You know, a lot of people are really spooked. When I was working in fish stores and you know, I would describe to people how you do that, uh, the look of terror in their eyes was palpable. So it's really simple. You don't have to be scared. Uh, you just need to move, oh, hold on. See how reactive they are. You just need to move slowly so you can push a little bit. Don't take it off all at once and just work your way around the foot. Of course, it's harder 
if it's wedged into a rock and there are definitely cases where you're not going to be able to take the anemone out because it's wedged in the rock and that's where the anemone cannon comes in really handy most recently we used the anemone cannon to uh, take 10 anemones out of an aquarium that had otherwise evaded us we put rocks on top of them to try and get them to move to different areas we pointed flow right at them look at that and the anemones off no harm to the animal. Just make sure that you're slow and gentle and you'll be fine. Thanks for watching the video. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on future content and enjoy this nature clip. Doesn't look like he's fed yet tonight, but he was looking. There's a nice gecko in that pipe we pulled him out of. Oh, and he's beautiful. He must've just shed. His scales are so nice. Annery corn? Anary corn. Oh, look at the head. Oh, hey, buddy. Yeah, he's got a nice pattern on his head. Let me see if I can calm him down a little bit. Oh, that's a beautiful pattern.